I'm using this delightful little gadget that I have in this hand, and indeed in this hand, it's the Kodak ZI6. It's a, a tiny, uh, very easy to use, brilliant, high definition video uh, camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a Christmas message to my friends and relations, and I'm going to email it to them, save a bit of paper, and then they get to see how fantastic I'm looking. And uh, it's really, I'm, I'm a bit confused now, but I always am at Christmas because I'm filming me filming me. So this one is filming and this one is filming. <laughs> so it's really, I'm filming myself with two cameras now, which is somewhat self-indulgent. The flag's up, so she's in. So she might be writing, writing the draft of the speech. I mean, I'm saying that to you now. I, I, I once spoke to a press officer from Buckingham Palace and the Queen's speech, that focal point of Christmas Day, actually gets written around about July. Christmas wouldn't be the same without it. We can all agree. Wouldn't be the same without it. But good thing, bad thing, you decide. But she is in. I'm going to zoom in on flag. Watch me. Zoom, 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 zoom. Wait. Well, there it is there, flapping in the wind. Thank you, Your Majesty. Put a few gags in this year. <laughs> you know, something like two princes walk into a pub. Well, one of them definitely would. Of course, a great thing about Christmas is all the brilliant films that turn up on telly. I mean, every Christmas Eve, you get It's a Wonderful Life, and then they show Miracle on 34th Street. You get A Christmas Carol, of course, Muppet Christmas Carol, another great one, but I prefer the Alistair Sim version myself. And uh, then, of course, my personal Christmas favourite, Rosemary's Baby. Ah, uh, the little pram scene at the end. working on. It's kind of Christmas, isn't it? Fat man working hard, leading up to the end of the year. Boxing Day football. I mean, what's the point of Boxing Day football? They kind of don't want to be there playing. You kind of don't want to be there watching, but you do it anyway. The main reason you go to a Boxing Day game is to get away from the uh, madding crowd or extended family, as they're better known. And watching your team on Boxing Day, it's a fool's errand anyway, because it's like trying to watch a a car starting on a cold morning it doesn't really ever get going but there's something about it that works the missus doesn't want you to be at home anyway you don't want to be at home anyway everyone's happy really they might moan about you going to the boxing day football but they can't wait to get you out the house yeah boxing day football good thing about christmas especially if you come to the academy the home of football. Ah, there we are. Yes, like you didn't know already. Where's the enormous badge? Look at that. Fabulous thing. Another brilliant thing about the ZI6, if you're carrying running around, is, is, is if you have a moment like I just had in Selfridges and you have to bump into a celebrity. Doing, I don't know, a box signing maybe. I've always loved Santa because. Uh, He's like Dad, Santa, isn't he? He's certainly like my dad, because you only see him once a year. He always smells slightly of booze, and he always brings you something. So, uh, yeah, Santa, a good thing about Christmas. Check this out for a Christmas frontage. They mean it. They t oh, yeah, they mean it. Christmas with style. From the kids at Debenhams. Whoa, sorry, a little bit of a journey there. But, you know, the thing for me, I mean, it's all very Christmassy, but what would be... If only they like had some like robot white reindeer, all like dancing around a piano in a fake little band. I mean, if they had like some puppet reindeer, I mean that would be some. Hello. <laughs> Ask, and ye shall receive. Happy Christmas.